All right, here's the hierarchy and anarchy. As you can see, I've rearranged it. You can uh, see I've added a few things, but it just wasn't right last time. But anyway, start from down here. TurboGrafx-16 and TurboGrafx-16 CD. Sega Genesis. Go up here, Super Nintendo. And I've added the Genie to the Genesis, and I've added the Genie to the Super Nintendo. Then we got Sega CD. And there you go to the step ups to 32, 32X, which and then we go to the Jaguar, and the Jaguar CD. Go to 32X CD. Then go to Philips CDI. 3DO. Sega Saturn. PlayStation, Nintendo 64, Dreamcast, GameCube, GameCube, PS2, go from GameCube to PS2, go to PS2, go to Xbox and got its uh, cheap device out. Got Xbox, oh yeah. The 3DO has a cheat device too, you didn't see that. Cheat device for 3DO. Um, from there I've changed it around. They, uh, the, the order of precedence goes. Wii, Xbox, PSP, PS3. Now here's the story of progression. The story of the hierarchy of anarchy. My my vision of what went on. Now here's how it goes. You have Turbo Graphics down here. It says we got better graphics than the Nintendo system. We come out first. We're better than regular Nintendo. But we have we're gonna keep Nintendo sound. But we're gonna we're gonna offer cue cards instead of cartridges. It's gonna be like a credit card. And we're going to have Nintendo sound, but we're going to have 16-bit graphics, and we're going to blow everybody out of the water. So, then Genesis came, comes out and says, screw you, we're going to have better graphics than you, and better sound too. And uh, then the PC Engine and TurboGrafx-16 says, screw you, we're going to have a CD peripheral, and it's, it's going to allow bigger games, so better stuff. And we're going to have stereo sound, Ma Digga. And then Super Nintendo comes out and says, Screw you both. We're not sold on CD stuff. And we're better graphics than both of you. And we'll blow you out of the way. And we got a thing called FX chip. It makes us have almost 32 bit like games, like, third, like Star Fox and Donkey Kong Country. And then Sega CD says, Well, screw you, Super Nintendo. And screw you, TurboGrafx 16. We're going to have better graphics than TurboGrafx 16. And we're going to offer full motion video that Super Nintendo can't. We're going to have stereo sound, and we're going to blow y'all out of the water with the new technology coming out called full motion video games. We're going to have best shooters, we're going to have real shooters, we're going to have rail shooters. And then, all the while, everybody is thinking, oh, what's the next step? What's the next step? Oh, 32 bit. So we're going to come up with 32 bit console. We're going to say, Sega Genesis says, we're going to come out with 32 bit console. We're going to say it's 32 bit. But it's really not 32 bit, it's 25 bit because it's not quite 16 bit. It's not quite. Uh, 64 bits, not 32 bit. This is the the wannabe genre I call the wannabe genre. You got the wannabe 32x over here says screw but all y'all. We're gonna have uh, 32 bit uh, 3D graphics, polygon shading graphics. We're gonna blow you out of the water. And Nintendo says you still ain't got shit on my Star Fox. And then the Sega 32x is like screw you. We got Star Wars Arcade and uh, Virtual Racer and uh, we got the best side scrolling game. Uh, version of Blackthorn and we also got the best version of also our, our Doom's got better graphics than you Super Nintendo so what now then uh, Tar Jaguar says what Doom you want to talk about Doom we're coming out with 32 bit console or 64 bit console but it's not really 64 bit it's really 25 bit console but it's got better graphics than the other one so we're going to call it 64 bit it's really so we're gonna, it's, it's really 25 bit console and we got the best version of Doom and then uh, Sega 32X says, screw you, man. We're going to come out with the 
the CD 32X that comes out, and we're going to offer better graphics on some of our old Sega CD games. And then Jaguar's like, "Oh yeah, well screw you, we'll come out with CD too, man. We'll blow it out with CD. Well, we've got the best version of Primal Rage." And then uh, all the while, while they're bickering and arguing up here, Philip CDI is like, "Oh screw all of you, we got the best video going on to town." And then. 3DO's like, screw all of you, We're, we got the real 32-bit console, we got the best real 32-bit console, but oh, by the way, it's $700 to buy us. You want to you play 32-bit, you got to pay $700. We got the best road rash, we got the best need for speed, or we got the first need for speed, and you want to play real 3D graphics, you want our system. And then Philip CDI is like, oh, shut up, we, we got the best gun, we got the best precision gun, and we got the best video, so... What, what's up, punks? Oh, and not only that, we got Nintendo license. We got Mario and Zelda on our stuff. And then 3DO and Sega and Nintendo is all laughing at both of these guys. Sega's like, well, screw all of you. We're going to jump ahead. Fine, we, 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 we can do that, too. We can we can come up 32-bit. We can go 32-bit. Fine, we'll go 32-bit. Finally, that 32X ain't no good. So here comes Sega Saturn. Yeah. So we're 32-bit, but we're going to blow all of you out of the way with 2D graphics. Ain't nobody seen 2D graphics like this. Everybody's going crazy nowadays for Street Fighter 2s. So everybody's wanting to play fighting games. Everybody likes Mortal Kombat. So we're going to offer the next next gen console. It's going to be more, most powerful console. And then all the while, Sony PlayStations just got burnt by Nintendo, and then they're up. Sony PlayStation got burnt by Nintendo. And they said, "Well, screw all y'all. Y'all y'all want to go with Philips and offer a peripheral for CD? We'll come out with our own damn CD console." So they come out with their own console. Here comes Sony and says, screw all y'all. We're going to have CD player too, but we're going to have the best CD player. And we're going to have we're going to have 3D 3D graphics, the best 3D graphics you've ever seen. And then Sony, and Sega Savage over here laughing at Sony like, ha, 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 it's 3D graphics. What are you going to do with 3D graphics? Everybody likes 2D games. And then Sony PlayStation like, oh, yeah? Well, screw you. 3D graphics is the future. And then... Poor little Sega just didn't have a clue, and 3D era begins. 3D polygons take over. Nintendo 64 sees the matter. It says, "Yep, 3D is where it's at." Sony, Sony PlayStation selling out, selling everybody else. 20 million consoles sold, where everybody else is failing. 3 3DO's out of the market. Philips CDI drops out of the market. Jaguar drops out of the market. Sega CD is canceled. Sega 32X is canceled. Now it's just Saturn and PlayStation going neck to neck. And Nintendo 64 says, we want to have better 3D graphics. You know when you watch 3D on a PS3 and it gets all blocky and it gets all messed up? Well, we're, ours is smooth 3D. We got the best 3D. And then Sony PlayStation's over here laughing at them. Ha, ha, ha. You think you got the best 3D? Ha, 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 ha. We got more storage capacity. You can put more, you can put 700 megabytes on a CD. And, and then uh, Nintendo's like, well, screw you. A bunch of kids going to scratch up that CD. And then Sony PlayStation's like, <laughs> but your stuff costs too much to make, and everybody wants to see ours. Everybody, all the developers want to make stuff on ours because it's cheaper to make. And then Nintendo 64 is like, oh yeah, well we'll see about that. And then all the the third party developers say, screw you, we ain't going on Nintendo 64 because Nintendo 64 practices unlawful practices by charging overcharging sixty dollars per cartridge whenever we can sell the the CDs for thirty and make more money. So very few uh, developers jumped on Nintendo 64. So then we we'll go over to Nintendo 64 while, while, while these, these uh, Nintendo and PlayStation is arguing. Sega's sitting back and saying, you're right, we lost a 2D war. No one wants to play 3D on our Sega Saturn. All right, fine. 3D is where you want to go. We're going to rip off 3DFX. <laughs> so they ripped off 3DFX and stole their technology and says, we got the next powerful console. We're going to be leaps and bounds ahead of both of you. And uh, not only that, we're going to offer online service better than the Sega channel. And uh, we're going to call it the Sega... Sega uh, whatever, web browser or whatever. Um, and we're going to have a 128-bit console and it blows all you out of the water. So, while the while they're sitting there arguing and Sony, Sony's kept their mouth shut and they're quiet. They know that they've been trumped by the Sega Dreamcast. Get, Nintendo 64 finally realizes they lost their ass and got it handed to them and cartridges is the way to go and then, what do you know? While Sega Dreamcast is out and selling like hotcakes for the next 128-bit console with a revolutionary console, got internet, got uh, VMU, 
I mean, it, the best Sega consoles ever come out. Then now here comes GameCube. Says, all right, we give up. We give up. Uh, fine, we agree. We agree. It's it's it, it, uncle, uncle. We understand. Uh, CD is where it needs to be. <laughs> so they come out with their own CD console, and uh, they said, well, "Screw you, Sony. We're, we're buying Capcom rights to make uh, Resident Evil, and that'll always sell. Everybody loves uh, Resident Evil, and Sony PlayStation's over here chopping up the bit, and they're going crazy. They're like, "Hey, man, Resident Evil was released on our console. Man, that was us, man." And then. And tell us, like, ha, ha, ha. Not only do we get the uh, rights to the comp the games, but we get remakes of uh, the Resident Evil. And then uh, Sega Dreamcast is like, oh man, we ain't got no money to compete with PlayStation and GameCube, but we're gonna keep trying. So they they keep hanging on, and but they ain't coming out with no more games. And uh, everybody hears about the next thing. PS2 is coming out. So PS2 is coming out. What's what we hear about PS2? It's got DVD fucking player, the cheapest one on the market, and everybody wants one. Everybody's waiting. So poor little Dreamcast over here's losing money out the ass because no one's buying their shit. And Nintendo GameCube's like, fuck, we should have thought of a DVD player. And then they're sitting there arguing with each other about who gets the rights to what console or what game and stuff. And then Sega's like, fuck it. We'll just see who wins uh, after the PS2 comes 